So in our order operations, we start with, with two operations, and then we move those by those, so we have now five operations. For us to remember, first thing you gotta do is group. So I see a group here, so we gotta do that, and then I see another group here. So we gotta do that as well. Inside the first group, I see addition and exponent, and I know I do exponent first. How much is two squared? So that group looks like 2 plus 4. Now, how much is 2 plus 4? 6. Looking at the other group, it's all subtraction. So let's do the first two. How much is 6 minus 2? 4. The whole group is 4 minus 1. How much is 4 minus 1? 3. Three. In between the group, I see a division sign. How much is 6 divided by 3? 2. Remember, we do groups, then exponents, multiplication <coughs> division, and the last thing we do is subtraction and addition. The only time when we do subtraction and addition at the beginning is when it's inside a group. Let me take a look at something like number 2. Because I see a group here, but then I see a, new, a smaller group inside. So we have to work the small group first. How much is 5 minus 3? 2. Right, so that group looks like 5 plus 8 <coughs> divided by 2. So we work the small group first. I see addition and division, but I know we divide first. How much is 8 divided by 2? 4. So that looks like 5 plus 4. How much is 5 plus 4? So let me copy everything else. We have 15 divided by 3 times 9. I see division, and I see multiplication, and I know there's the thing level. So whenever we see more than one operation, we go from left to right. So division is at the, right, at the left, so we have to divide first. How much is 15 divided by 3? 5. five. So then we get 5 times 9, and how much is that? 45. Division and uh, multiplication, the same level, so go from left to right. Any questions on the front? Four? Four? Right, let's take a look at question number four. I see a big group, but inside we have a smaller group. So let's work the small group first. How much is four minus three? Mm -hmm. So that group looks like 4 <laughs> plus 2 minus 1. <coughs> and see, we see we can work the whole group by 1. How much is 4 plus 2 minus 1? 5. Okay. So we have 5 <coughs> times 2 minus 4. I know we multiply before we subtract, so let's multiply. How much is 5 times 2? 10. Ten. Ten. How much is 10 minus 4? 6. Six. Six. So, I guess the key here was, <coughs> if there's a big group, and there's a small group inside, <coughs> work the small group inside. Are any other questions from the front? Five. <coughs> looking at number five, I see the exponent, but I have to work the group first. So, let me work the inside. How much is three plus two? Five. five. So let me write the 5 with a little square on the outside. On well, my second group, I see a minus, but I have to divide first. How much is 10 divided by 2? 5. five. So the, the, that parenthesis looks like 6 minus 5. How much is 6 minus 5? 1. So I have 5 squared minus 1. I have to do exponents outside the group. How much is 5 squared? 25. And then how much is 25 minus 1? 24. <laughs> Any other questions from the front? Let's take a look at question number 11. Looking on the back. Letters. Instead of 8, <coughs> I'm going to use 6. Instead of K, I'm going to use 5. 
And then you write this as phi <coughs> plus phi plus inside the group phi plus six plus phi and all this divided by four. Alright, I have a group. I see you see what the group six is. How much is five plus six plus five? Sixteen. So when I copy everything I have five plus five plus sixteen divided by four. I see a division and I have to divide before I, I add. How much is sixteen divided by four? Four. So then I have five plus five plus four. How much is that? Seven. Four. Let me take a look at another question. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at 14. Instead of 8, I'll use 2. Instead of J, I'll use 2. So I have 2 to the third. Inside the parentheses, I have 2 plus 2 plus 2 and uh, minus 2. Alright, so let's work the group first. I think we can work that out. 1. How much is 2 plus 2 plus 2? 6. So I have 2 to the 3rd times 6 minus 2. But after group, I have to do exponent. I will sell the group and go with exponent. How much is 2 to the 3rd? 8. So we have 8 times 6 minus 2. Then I have to go multiplication or division. I see a multiplication. How much is 8 times 6? 48. And then to finish this, how much is 48 minus 2? 46. Yes. Notice that addition and subtraction is the last thing we do. Unless it's in a group, but otherwise it's the last thing we do. Alright. Any other questions? Instead of 8, I'll use 6. Instead of J, I'll also use 6. So let me write this as 6. And then inside the parentheses, 6 minus another parentheses, 6 minus another parentheses, 6 minus 6. Alright. So there's a bunch of parentheses. I know that there's a big one. If it helps, I want to do it a different color. Inside that parentheses, there's another one, but inside that one, there's even a smaller one. So let me work the smaller. How much is 6 minus 6? Zero. Zero. Thank you. So inside the blue parentheses, I have 6 minus 0. How much is 6 minus 0? 6. Alright. So inside the big parentheses, we have... 6 minus 6 divided by 4. We still have a little 6 on the outside. Alright, so let's work the parentheses first. We have to divide first. How much is 6 divided by 6? 1. So that parentheses is 6 minus 1. How much is 6 minus 1? 5. Alright, we still have a little 6 on the outside. When two numbers are put together, it's times. So how much is six times five? Third. Oh. Any questions? The test tomorrow is pretty much this long and uh, all types of uh, operations. I remember Monday we did two, Tuesday we did three, Yesterday we did four, this one we did five. So I will have them all, you know, two, three, four, five in the test tomorrow.